Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what today I'm going to bring to you? Coping Failure with Educational Program. Recently, I read an article by Mew in 1991 responding to success and failure. Mew taught us how to cope and face with failure. Indeed, it is a very useful article for those who are in need of the guidance during the time of feeling down. Uh, first of all, Mew uh, taught us how to um, uh, cope with failure by defining the word failure. You must understand the word failure. So what does failure mean? In his article, he defined failure as um, it is a condition or fact of not achieving the desired result or aims. Failure also defined by Mew as the consideration or fact of insufficient or lacking, for example, a falling short or a weakening. Uh, or something. Mew also continued to offer ways to deal with program failure. For example, he said the attendance means the cost did not work. For example, marketing. So the attendance, the less attendance means um, the cost marketing is not working. If more attendance, it means the marketing the course marketing is working. Okay, just simple as that. And maybe the topic wasn't right. And it was uh, ahead of its like uh, um was scheduled ahead of its time, or it was scheduled like, like ahead of its time of the day, which I means a day, week, or um, the month. Okay, failure also by me also means that the uh, the topic probably perhaps not satisfactory, and the content was not uh, satisfactory by the participants, or the instructor was off track. And the next survey did not review the real topic or the um, um, the group was ahead or behind the uh, level of material or the facilities, facilities were not satisfactory for example uh, talk about the refreshment so refreshment was not ready on time perhaps the restroom was not clean uh, other include something like the chair was too hot or the room was either too hot or too cold Okay, all of that, but according to Mew, he suggests that he suggests some guidelines to help us to uh, know that actually coping with failure is a kind of um, is a process, is a method. He said our ability to take risks is uh, closely tied to our ability to cope with the failure. So, in not taking risks um, means that it will paralyze your profession or it will. Uh, help you to fail uh, to service to others. Driscoll in 1989 in the um, in Mills article also suggests that, uh, some good points which is um, he uh, Driscoll identified four benefits of failure. So number one, what, so sorry, what are the benefits of failures? So four benefits of failure are number one, it helps us to be uh, more robust, stronger and more resilient to the struggle. Number two, it helps us to uh, to be to know and aware of what we are up against. Number three, actually failure is a stepping stone to success. Number four, uh, failure also helps us to review our humility and prevent us to take ourselves more seriously, too seriously, I mean. Mew also suggests some uh, guidelines for Failure in adult continuing education program. Number one, what can you do uh, to uh, to help you to uh, cope with that? So number one is to uh, analyze the failure, analyze why the program failed, failed uh, or why you fail in anything. Number two is to uh, blame other person, but do it uh, do it with precautions only if the fault is not too high, and you blame the other person silently. Because you might need him or her the next time round. Uh, number three, um, you suggest to tell and share. So what do you mean by tell and share is to, for example, to talk over your uh, feeling of frustrations, uh, feelings of um, jobs or feelings of uh, uh, problems about the issues and anything like questions and all that. Number four is remain objective. So remain objective, which means that, uh, for example, you might you will know you can see what uh, has done, what it has been done, and why it failed, and how you might do it differently the next time round. For example, reflect to reflect 
um, you know, during the time of failure. And number five is to exercise. So regular exercise to help you to be more on a cue. And uh, failure doesn't uh, represent the significant uh, changes in your life. Okay. Number six is to volunteer or help someone. What do you mean by that? It means that you focus yourself on more important things or more important matters. Number seven is to be kind to yourself. I take a short break or go for a holiday or buy something extravagant just for yourself. As a try. Number eight is to smile. So a smile a day can brighten up your day. Number nine is to, to do something wakey like to break the routine. Okay. Number ten is to read something inspirational. And number eleven is to take uh, a risk on another program or to take a risk on another thing, another hobby, for example. Right. So really anything doesn't mean the end of the world. It means that it is a time to reflect, a time to um, a time to adjust yourself, and a time to take a short break. So if only we remain calm and confident, and um, finding and finding or seek help during the process of failure, nothing is too hard for us all anymore. Okay, let's come to the end of my topic. Uh, please do subscribe and like my channel, and thank you very much for tuning in. And for everybody, please stay safe and uh, until next time, goodbye.